School, middle school band and Sean Dillidu, thank you for coming out. I appreciate it. <coughs> so in closing, I will leave you with another quote and additional words of Lincoln, who gave voice to the ideals that we honor today with the men who sacrificed everything to protect them. When in an emotional address to the men in the Ohio Regiment returning home to their families, he said, I happen temporarily to occupy this big white house, he said. I'm a living witness that any one of your children may look to come here as my father's child has. It is in order that each of you may have through this free government which we have enjoyed an open field and a fair chance for your industry, enterprise, and intelligence. That you may all have equal privilege in the race of life with all its desirable human aspirations. It is for this the struggle should be maintained that we may not lose our birthright. The nation is worth fighting for to secure such an inestimable jewel. To the veterans who died polishing and protecting that inestimable jewel, today we say a humble and heartfelt thank you. Today our country mourns. I would like to thank the uh, the Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, Browns, Cub Scouts, Pack 48, for coming out last Thursday decorating the graves. We did uh, about 2,200 flags, and we're furthering the, the thought of remembrance, and that's what we have to do. Back in 1907, a young lady was born, Catherine Elizabeth Smith. She further, she, she loved music, and her forte was singing. She ended up being the first lady of radio. Back on Armistice Day of 1938, when Europe was in turmoil, and we were fearful of being brought into that war, she gave to the United States a song that every soldier, sailor, airman, coast guard, and even you today know. And if you'll please join me and sing with Kate Smith, God Bless America. God Bless America. Fire squad. 